गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर डूइंग रिवीजन ऑफ चैप्टर रिप्रोडक्शन इन एनिमल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर रिवाइजिंग साइंस वोकेबलरी फर्स्ट वन इज रिप्रोडक्शन वॉट इज रिप्रोडक्शन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑफ स्प्रिंग्स इधर सेक्शुअली और ए सेक्शुअली नाउ द नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑफ स्प्रिंग वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ ऑफ स्प्रिंग एंड एनिमल्स यंग वंस नेक्स्ट इज गैमीट गैमीट मीन्स रिप्रोडक्टिव मेल और फीमेल सेल नेक्स्ट इज प्लेसेंटा वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ प्लेसेंटा द फ्लैट सर्कुलर ऑर्गन डैट प्रोवाइड्स न्यूट्रिशन टू द बेबी थ्रू आउट द प्रेगनेंसी नेक्स्ट इज अम्बलिकल कॉर्ड अम्बलिकल कॉर्ड मीनिंग इज अ फ्लेक्सीबल कॉर्ड लाइक स्ट्रक्चर डैट कॉनेक्ट्स द फॉइटस टू द प्लेसेंटा वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ फॉइटस फॉइटस मीन बेबी so a flexible cord like structure that connects the fetus to the placenta next is amniotic fluid amniotic fluid means a yellowish liquid surrounding the fetus in the uterus what is amniotic fluid it means a yellowish liquid surrounding the fetus in the uterus next is metamorphosis metamorphosis means transformation from immature form to adult form in stages for example like frog okay next is cloning cloning means making an identical copy after this we are revising short question answers of reproduction in animal first question is what is the role of amniotic fluid so i think you all know about amniotic fluid so what is amniotic fluid it is a yellowish liquid that surrounding the fetus in the uterus so now they are asking what is the role of amniotic fluid so here you will write amniotic fluid cushions the embryo protecting it against mechanical injury and help in its nourishment again i am telling you what is the role of amniotic fluid it cushions the embryo protecting it against mechanical injury and help in its nourishment the next question is what is cell differentiation so uh, after fertilization you know the meaning of fertilization fertilization means when the male and female gamete will fuse together so after the fertilization what will happen the zygote moves down the fallopian tube towards the uterus as it moves it divides and redivides through the process of cell division and it will form a ball of cells and the cells form the specific groups each of which develop into organs limbs muscles and tissue and this is known as cell differentiation or you can say cell maturation now after this the next question is what is an egg laying animal called and give some example so an egg laying animal is also called an oviparous animal okay like birds most rep reptiles such as crocodile snakes lizard and insects lay eggs after internal fertilization so this was regarding oviparous animals now the next one is what is metamorphosis metamorphosis means transformation from an immature form to the adult animal in shape that is known as metamorphosis so now they are asking list some animals that undergoes metamorphosis so here you can write silk moth butterflies frogs and toads so these are the examples of metamorphosis now next is why do amphibian and fish lay hundred of eggs so amphibian and fish lay hundred of eggs to ensure that at least some will survive to hatch and become adult again i am repeating amphibian and fish lay hundreds of eggs to ensure that at least some will survive to hatch and become adults thank you